Hey everyone, welcome back to Medical Miracle. Today, we've got a super exciting update for you. We're diving deep into the latest news on 2-3 generation. Yes, you heard that right. This is groundbreaking stuff, and I'm thrilled to share it with you. So grab a seat, hit that like button, and let's get started. First, the big news from Dr. Katsu Takahashi. Alright guys, let's talk about the star of this update, Dr. Katsu Takahashi. In June, he spoke at a fascinating symposium. Think of it as a super chill, heartfelt Q&A session rather than a stiff, formal conference. Dr. Takahashi poured his heart out about his team's work on tooth regeneration, and trust me, it's mind-blowing. He shared some incredible insights about where this research is headed and how it's going to change lives. This symposium was all about the tooth regeneration trials that started last October. And here's the big news. They've officially entered phase two. But before I get ahead of myself, let me break down what Dr. Takahashi discussed because there's so much to unpack here. Now, the science behind tooth regeneration. So, let's get into the nitty-gritty of what Dr. Takahashi's team is working on. Their research focuses on a special peptide called P26 or USF1. This peptide is injected into the gums to stimulate tooth regrowth. Yes, you heard that right. This is groundbreaking stuff, and I'm thrilled to share it with you. So grab a seat, hit that like button, and let's get started. Here are the three main points Dr. Takahashi emphasized. How many shots are needed? The team is figuring out whether a single injection of the P26 peptide is enough to regrow a tooth or if multiple shots are required. This is critical because they want the treatment to be as simple and effective as possible. Imagine walking into a clinic, getting one shot, and boom, a new tooth starts growing. How do gums and tissues respond when a new tooth emerges? They're also studying how the surrounding tissues, like your gums and jawbone, respond when a new tooth emerges. This is super important to ensure the new teeth integrate safely and naturally with your existing oral structure. No one wants a new tooth causing chaos in their mouth, right? Beyond teeth, bone regeneration. Here's where it gets really wild. Dr. Takahashi isn't stopping at teeth. His team is exploring maxillofacial regeneration. That's a fancy way of saying they're working on regrowing bone in the face and jaw. This could be a game changer for people with congenital conditions or injuries affecting their facial structure. Can you believe that? They're not just growing teeth, they're thinking about rebuilding entire parts of the face. This is straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's happening right now. Now, let's talk about who this treatment is for. Dr. Takahashi made it clear that their initial focus is on congenital patients, children born with missing teeth due to genetic conditions. Think about how life-changing this could be for kids who've never had a full set of teeth. But don't worry, they're not stopping there. The next phase of research will target everyone with tooth loss, whether it's from cavities, gum disease, or other bacterial issues. So whether you lost a tooth to a bad cavity or an accident, this treatment could be for you in the future. Dr. Takahashi also acknowledged the huge responsibility on their team's shoulders. There's so much hype around this regenerative medicine, and they're feeling the pressure to deliver. Their goal? To make this treatment available in dental clinics worldwide through mass production. That's right, no matter where you are, you might one day walk into your dentist's office and get a tooth regrowing injection. This sounds amazing, but will it break the bank? Well, the fact that Dr. Takahashi is already thinking about affordability is a huge win. It shows they care about making this accessible to all of us, not just the super wealthy. Now, here's the really exciting part. Phase one of the trials was a success. Dr. Takahashi's team figured out exactly how much of the P26 peptide is needed to regrow a tooth. This is a massive milestone because it sets the stage for phase two, which is happening right now. In phase two, they're diving deeper into the treatment's effectiveness, safety, and how it works in real-world scenarios. And for my Asian followers, here's some extra good news. The trials are progressing smoothly, and there's hope that this treatment could roll out in Asia sooner than you think. Guys, this is huge. We're one step closer to a world where losing a tooth doesn't mean getting an implant or dentures. You could just grow a new one. So, what's next? 
Dr. Takahashi and his team are laser-focused on making tooth regeneration a reality for everyone. They're working on global clearance, scaling up production, and ensuring affordability. The fact that Phase 1 was a success gives us so much hope for Phase 2 and beyond. This isn't just about teeth, it's about hope. It's about giving people confidence, improving their quality of life, and pushing the boundaries of what medical science can do. I'm so excited to keep following this journey and bringing you all the latest updates. That's it for today's video, Medical Miracle Fam. What do you think about this tooth regeneration breakthrough? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest medical miracles. Hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Until next time, stay healthy, keep smiling, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, everyone.